congratulations, the first ever SPFL Premiership Manager of the Month. Yes, yeah, I haven't quite, haven't got, quite got used to that. You said it very well, but I haven't quite got used to that yet. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it is a big honour because um, it's not it's not about me really. It's, you know, the whole team should get this, and and my staff as well have been absolutely fantastic. You know, we started the hard work really. Uh, back in January, when we started to sign players up, and uh, you know we got the whole back four on two-year deals, other players on two-year deals, Aaron Donner on a three-year deal, which is unusual for us. But you know it's, it it helps set um, what was a good summer in terms of you know Steve Marcella got some good players in the summer, but everybody was together on the 27th of June. I think with the pro- with the program that Morris put together as well, and the way that Morris trains them, um, you know there was a real good cause for optimism this season. Um, I think we've probably gone past what we really expected from everybody. But it's nice uh, to do that. It's nice to exceed your uh, expectations, and um, um, you know the boys have done it in style. But I'm the figurehead, really, as the manager. But really, the whole you know, the award should be for the for the for the team behind the team and the team itself, and not just the team that plays, because we're fielded the same team um, in, in in five successive matches. It's the it's the the whole squad because everybody's pushing each other. Um, and it's been a great sort of model to work to, and it's something that we've uh, tried to instill. We're obviously very pleased we have because it's, it's it's working and working very well, and the players have bought into it um, really well, and they're hungry and um, they want to do you know they, they want to be the best they can be. And Richie was uh, awarded Player of the Month as well, great accolade for him, but again another accolade for your team. Yeah, and it, I mean Billy McKay had a great chance of it, I thought, because he's of his five goals. But you know you look at the skipper and the way that he goes about his work and. He's physical. He's strong. You know, strong challenge at Dundee United on Mackay Stephen. <laughs> Very strong, um, but he's you know he's he's just he's just brilliant. You know, he's just great. I mean, you know, I know I get a bit of stick for this, but he's you know he's like a son to me really in many aspects. Well, he will get a lot of stick now after I've said that. But I mean, the players call him my son anyway. So, but I think I've signed him more than any other player in my whole career. So I think about six times or seven times I've signed him. So. Um, it just shows you what he means to me and what he means to, to this football club as well because he's uh, he gives everything to, to it and you know, he's he's been on the left wing he's been centre forward and now he's sort of midfield general uh, he puts himself about but can play as well and with two goals already this season one at Celtic Park in particular yep. you know he's still got a, a massive appetite for the game and he's what 43 now I think or how old he is 33 I think it is but he's uh, he's up there with the boys takes the takes the warm ups and. Yeah, he pushes himself to his to his limits, which is brilliant. It looks like he's loving life too. Just spoken to him there, he loves the Highlands and he, he's really enjoying his football. And that, that's great for for you and to have him as your skipper as well. Yeah, but he, he he runs the dressing room and rules it as well. But he rules it very fairly. He's not a you know a tyrant or a, he's not too dominant. You know, he's he's he sort of ticks over. But I think the players are afraid of him as well because he's he's uh, he's had a few scraps with players in the past. So some here, some at Motherwell, which I've seen. A few scrapes and scraps um, away from the football club as well. I think we can't say anymore because I think that's uh, sub judice. But uh, no, he's <laughs> he's he's a character and he's a great lad to have about. And you know, he's he comes to me and says one or two things about you know the players should do this or what about this one about that. But generally, he's he doesn't relay a lot of stuff back to me from the dressing room, which is great because he, you know, he's got to keep it you know, sort of tight. But I can speak to him about the mood of the players, what they're like, and all that sort of thing. Should we be doing this? Should we be doing that? And he'll, he'll voice his opinion as well, as will all the players. You know, we offer that that choice to players, and they certainly um, are very opinionated in the right way. You know, they they'll tell me one or two things and they'll speak their minds, which is great, which is what you want. Thank you, Jerry. Just one.